So in our area, we're ramping up for chances of thunderstorms, wind and rain over the weekend. Craig Herrera joining us with the forecast. Sounds like you're going to be busy, Craig, tracking all of this. Yeah, no kidding, especially tomorrow afternoon and then another round on Sunday, Mark and Jessica. And then we've got some more next week as well. So let's get started. And I'm going to start with a shot from uh, Painfield. I want to show this to you so you can see the wet road uh, runway rather and the clouds. Look how fast they're moving. It's not a time lapse. They're actually moving pretty quickly out there. The winds right now sustained Everett South Southwest 23 miles per hour, eight Hoquiam, six Olympia. Not quite as strong as they were earlier, but they will be anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour gusting anyhow at times through tomorrow. Rainfall totals over an inch and a quarter. Quill, you'd already half an inch hoquiam. And here is the radar right now. Shades of yellow, some heavy rain coming down, uh, especially along the Olympic Peninsula, along the coast. Raymond, you can see some there. Uh, we've got some just moving out of Tacoma, Des Moines. This line now moving out of Woodenville, headed toward Gold Bar. Uh, we've got some heavy rain from Everett over to Mount Vernon as well. And as you look at the big system, there's a whole lot of energy out they're still coming through. Futurecast showing some heavy rain through 1 o'clock in the morning, even through 3.30. Then another round of heavy rain between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. Then tomorrow you will get some breaks, some sunshine. The gusty or the breezy winds will be with us out of the west-northwest tomorrow. And we will see some isolated thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon mixed in with the sunshine and the uh, breeze. By Sunday morning, we get a break. But by the afternoon, another round comes in and it will be heavy between 5 and let's say 8 o'clock before turning to scattered showers. Now, estimated rainfall totals through the end of the day tomorrow, half an inch to an inch and a half, almost two inches along the coast. And by the end of Sunday, a lot of those numbers jump to two, two and a half inches of rain. In the higher elevations, by the end of the day tomorrow, we don't expect accumulations at past level, but there'll be some on the side of the roads. And by the end of Sunday, maybe a little more. Over to Mount Rainier, we could see several feet of snow by Monday. So watch the forecast closely, and uh, it's not a good weekend to be up in the mountains, Mount Rainier anyhow, uh, this weekend. By Sunday, rain and a cold breeze moving through for the Seahawks game at 520. Overnight lows, 40s and 50s. How about tomorrow's highs? Mostly mid-50s. We'll stay with those mid-50s for a few days. And then as we go through Monday, we'll have rain early in the morning, turning to spotty showers by the afternoon. A break Tuesday morning with a rainy afternoon Tuesday. A break Wednesday uh, morning, but a few scattered showers during the afternoon. A break Thursday. And then it looks like we have the chance for a few more showers next Friday. Friday. So Riley's ready to nap all weekend long. I'll be busy here for <laughs> following the forecast and keeping you all updated. Me too. I will look like Riley soon. <laughs> Craig, thank you. And now let's check in with you Paul with sports. <laughs>